anniversary. They had wonderful time. While driving back to home, wife noticed tears in hubby's eyes. Well, hubby, it is probably because you are remembering those 50 wonderful years. I was just remembering before our marriage, your father threatened me, I would throw you in a jail for 50 years if you won't marry my daughter. Honey, if I didn't surrender to his threat on that day, tomorrow I would be a free man. <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters and guests, somebody very rightly said, Marriage is a three-ring circus. <laughs> Engagement ring, wedding ring, and suffering. <laughs> marriage. What marriage is all about? Many years ago, one day, my mother told me, My son, we have found a perfect match for you. Perfect match? I wondered. I didn't have faintest idea about the soulmate, perfect match, just busy in my study. But I don't know why, slowly and gradually, with passing of days, I started thinking about her, my soulmate, my fiance. My heart started gravitating towards her. My mind was full of thoughts about her. And then, years and years passed, and finally, one day, we were both together, married to each other. It was so wonderful, amazing, exciting in the beginning. Very good period, all good, wonderful. And when it ended, it is like, a kid is having a sweet sleep and having a sweet, sweet dreams and then a voice came. Wake up! It's your school time. So honeymoon period passed. Normal days started. Routine days, busy days at my days at office. And her days at home with in-laws. Routine, little bit skirmishes with Sasbhavi. So with time, we found that excitement is evaporating. You are becoming, you know, boring to each other. I thought it's not good. So how to then make a marriage happy and successful. There is no quick fix. Everybody has to think about their circumstances, but there are three important things you can count on to become your marriage a happy and successful one. Communication, trust, and love. Communication, take it first. So if you are a hubby, so appreciate your wife hundred times a day. Even if you have to wait for hundred years to hear a single word of appreciation. Time and again tell her how lucky you are to have a great, great in laws. Even if you are totally allergic to each one of them. While arguing with your wife, there are two golden rules. Your wife is always right, rule number one, and rule number two, follow rule number one. <laughs> so, communication is very important. And why? About communication on phone. So if she is not attending your call after countless attempts, then you should empathize and realize that she must be very busy. 
doing something on calling something and if you receive her call even middle of a very important business meeting immediately respond to it otherwise you know the result <laughs> so now come to trust trust is very important always trust ability of your wife and for wife you should be a trustworthy cook electrician plumber banker chauffeur and many things and at last but not least comes love so love your wife your soulmate from the first moment to last day always while leaving her office say honey i love you <laughs> text her and and as many times as you can during the day time and while back at home say honey i love you always whenever you are back home always come with some kind of gift her favorite chocolates her favorite cake whatever you can bring for her to amuse her always leave a chit at kitchen in fridge in her wardrobe appreciating her showing your love expressing your love and last but not the least also at every occasion related to your in-laws your brother in law's birthday your sister in law's birthday your mother in law's birthday your and many many in law always send them cake <laughs> and presents to make her, her more happy so with these things your marriage will work i can guarantee you your marriage will work one day my wife was scolding on me like she used to do and many wives used to do see you are six brothers and your parent trained them all very well and fine and left this boy pretty untrained for me <laughs> oh thank you honey what's the point of showing the gratitude you are so dumb <laughs> honey i am happy at least after so many years of marriage you still consider me a boy <laughs> i think you know the trick over to toastmaster <laughs>